Hi, I'm Vanita and today I'm going to be talking to you about pranayam. Uh, most of us know what is pranayam, uh, but I'm just going to be sharing with you a very simple technique. Some of you might already know. Uh, pranayam has always been a very important part of yoga and most of us in our modern lives, fast-paced lives, we don't tend to breathe deeply. Our breath is very shallow and because of which our body is not able to get oxygenated. When we do pranayam, our lungs get fuller. Uh, we are able to increase our lung capacity. All our cells get oxygenated. It calms our mind down. And also it gives us the practice of focusing for some time just on our breath. So I'm going to share with you the Anulom Vilom Pranayam. It's a very simple pranayam. I'll be teaching you two variations. One is the classic one where you start this way. You can either keep your three fingers like this and control your nostrils with the little finger and the thumb or you can do it like this. So this way or this way. For the purpose of the video so that you can see my face I will do this. So we start from the left nostril, close the right nostril. What you're doing is inhaling from the left, holding and exhaling from the right. And then you continue the other way around. Inhale from the right, hold and exhale from the left. I'll just do one complete round. That was one round. It's best to do five rounds at least. And you can do, you can also hold it. Inhale for two, hold for two, exhale for two. Or you can also do inhale for two, hold for four, and exhale for four or eight, depending on your capacity. Don't push yourself. It's supposed to be very gentle and relaxing. I'm going to show you a second variation. Uh, you, I can't really call it anulom vilom, but this just helps to hold the breath in more and increase our lung capacity. So we do it like the classic anulom vilom, but we also hold after exhaling. So for example, you inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. That's one cycle. So it's best to do five cycles of this then do some normal breathing and then again five cycles so here we go Uh, try and aim for 5 minutes uh, to start with at least and build it up to 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes may seem a lot but uh, this is something you could do when you're traveling say by taxi or by bus. Uh, basically where you're ideal to uh, do pranayam on an empty stomach. So I really like doing it first thing in the morning or uh, just before lunch. Or uh, after a long gap after dinner, just before going to sleep. Um, whenever you're feeling tired, whenever you feel like reaching out for that cup of tea or coffee, or spending some time on your phone just to take a break, I would say pranayam is the best at that time. If you can do pranayam uh, in an open air environment, if you can do it while taking the sun, that's two things at one time. But if not, you can also do it in your car or while traveling, like I said, or even at work uh, when you're feeling tired and you feel like you need a break. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe to our channel.